Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to draw the structure of nitrogen gas and use it to determine if the molecule is polar or nonpolar. Let's get started. Unsurprisingly, nitrogen gas is made up of two nitrogen atoms. As a matter of fact, it's one of the seven diatomic elements. Each nitrogen atom has five valence electrons. So, in total, we have 10 valence electrons because we have two nitrogen atoms. Now, let's start drawing the outline of the molecule. It's going to be fairly straightforward because it's just two nitrogen atoms connected by a single bond. By doing this, we've used up two electrons in the single bond, so we can subtract that from the total we have, and that leaves us with eight more electrons that we need to use up. Let's use the eight electrons to fill the octets of the nitrogen atoms. So we have two, four, six, and eight over here. So now we fill the octet for this nitrogen atom over here, but not this nitrogen atom. We can fix this by taking a pair of electrons off of the left nitrogen atom and moving it here to make another bond. So we'll take away this pair and now the right nitrogen atom has six valence electrons, so we're going in the right direction, but we need to keep going. Let's do that again. So I'll take this electron pair and move it here to make another bond. Take that pair away, and now our right nitrogen atom has its octet filled. Remember, we haven't taken any electrons away from the left nitrogen atom, so it still has its octet. Now, let's use this structure to find out if nitrogen gas is polar or not. It's going to be pretty easy because nitrogen gas, like the six other diatomic elements, is made up of two identical elements. They're going to have the same electronegativity, and as a result, they're going to share electrons evenly. Therefore, the nitrogen gas molecule is going to be nonpolar. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.